Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Overwatch. It's going to be a fantastic game today. We've got SEU versus Blinn, the two top teams in the current group. My name is Finberry, and I'm joined by Austin Clocus. Austin, how are you feeling today? Feeling great. Excited for an exciting matchup. SEU for the past few weeks has been on fire. I'm sure Blinn trying to extinguish that fire in tonight's match. Yeah, they're definitely going to look to try and do that. It's... It's gonna be interesting for sure. Of course, SU currently six and zero. Uh, Blinn College, if I recall, currently has a spotless record as well. Wow, two Cur undefeated Titans going up against each mm -hmm. other. Now, what are we looking at for character selection in this well, first match? Well, currently we're looking at Agape on this Metro, probably just for the early teleporter, and then going to swap off. No, they're playing full defensive here with the May and the Symmetra for the DPS. This will be interesting. This is a comp that really requires you to get onto the point mm -hmm. and keep the point. And here we go. Both teams engaging instantly oh, on man. the point. It's a May on May action here. But it looks like Blinn is using the McCree instead of the Symmetra. I got to get me taken out by that McCree, actually, here. Mako going to be frozen up. We're going to get out in time thanks to the bubble from B. Now Extrusion and the rest of SU, they just need to get on to the point here. Agape actually choosing to stick with the Symmetra hmm. is an interesting thing considering they've lost this first push onto the point here. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when you have characters like Mei on the field, things can just be so lessons. Here we go. The hammer down is just gonna be Mako caught out, unfortunately, for SU, but they are going to get the kill on the Kipper in response here. And now it's gonna be a second kill for the side of Blin, another kill for the side of SU. It's Currently two for two. Sound barrier out for Blinn. That's a third kill for each side, but SU is going to fall here, and Blinn College is going to take the first point. As I was saying, though, before um, I was interrupted, when you have characters like Mei on the field, it just... It, it, it's it, she's such an annoying character to combat because you know she can stop you in your tracks freeze you if you try to get to her she has her wall and then once you finally chip off damage she has her her just icicle that she uh, that, that she'll just hide hide away in yeah yeah that is for sure now as an as somewhat oh, 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 oh a good we wall go. stopping that high noon there but it is actually going to secure a kill on the Mako. Agape just trying to make some plays happen here on this push. They need to get onto the point. It is extremely important. But it'll take the kills on Om Nom Nom. That is for sure. Agape continue to be on the point here. They just need a few more going from the go to see sound barrier in response immediately. And the charge is coming through. The coalescence coming through as well. Agape going to fall. And so is Dragon Knight. The stun. Oh, the fan, the hammer. Not going to get the kill. But B says, I'll get the kill on you, Juka. You're not juking this one. Here we go, the Reinhardt coming on in. Chef going to secure a kill in the gaming legacy. But does it matter? B going to get the kill in the end. And SU are going to take the point. And I don't know if you saw what I did there, there but I think that was just a great, uh, a great way to make use of the map and the fact that they had one side and then the Rhine came from the other side to have his ultimate popped and then kind of just trapping the team inside of the point and finishing it off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all about that teamwork, and if you can work together, that's when things get interesting. We actually see Agave swapping over to the Reaper here. Okay. Uh, they've taken the point. I think this is a good swap. I don't... Oh, the hammer down! It's going to secure one. The Blizzard going to come through as well from Blinn. Oh, the Maywall! And the Mako may go <laughs> down here. The Maywall actually blocking Mako from escaping here, but it's going to be the Blizzard in response. Agape looking to get some good damage on them here. Here we go. It's going to be one kill, making it two kills for the side of SU. Looking to make it a third. It's going to be close as the Graviton Surge comes out. Make it three, make it four. Can they go for six? This is going to be all six here for SEU. And Blinn is going to have to try again on the push. Man, and kind of just ex exchanging blows here from both teams. I think both of them are playing pretty well. SEU, though, doing a nice job of keeping this point. Although, Blinn does have 86%, so when they do reclaim it, shouldn't need to have hold on for too yeah, long. Yeah, that is the thing here. They have to play, SEU has to play extremely defensive here, because mm -hmm. if they lose the point, it's going to be one last chance to get it back before it's all over. And here we go. And there you go. I'm watching B here. I'm waiting for that Graviton Surge to come up, but it's not going to matter if the Earth Shatter will come down. No, the Maywall, once again, they just wow. cannot coordinate these Maywalls. The Shatter's going to be blocked. Oh, and there's the, the is that the Blossom? Yeah, that there you the go. Blossom. And that's going to be all of them falling. 86% now. That's yeah, fine. and that's the second time we've seen the wall get in the way of Mako. And I feel like Mako probably just frustrated that they're not able to coordinate 
uh, what they're really doing here. But a good job there to hold on to the point. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Actually going to make it through before the main wall comes up here. And I feel like a lot of it, in terms of the main walls, and we've kind of seen a little bit from both teams, I feel. Uh, hard to tell since we can only see one team here. But it may not really used in this season at all. Yeah. So the fact that May's being used now changes things up a little bit. So it's it's just interesting to see that they're getting used to communicating. Exactly. And it, and if I may, um, I think that May is a great character. I see what you did there. Thank you. I thank see what you. you did there. Have you actually played May? By the way, just um, in time of playing. I know we have our you know, I've played I've played her once or twice, maybe in just scrims. Um, but whenever I did, it was just I was just shouting Mayday the whole time, cause it's just I'm not too good with her. But again, like I said, can be such an annoying character to play. Um, has a whole bunch of t uh, tools in her toolbox to use. To really, I, I, I think she's honestly, she has a really great, just, she, she has a really great set of skills. It's pretty I think cool. is the best way to say it. Is all of them really, they really collaborate well together. And it, it, she is a great character. And if you can get good with her, Definitely a character that can do well in competitive play, but again, we haven't seen too much of yeah. her. Definitely an interesting character to watch, just like Ana. Of course, Ana with an interesting gimmick, if you're not familiar. She shoots her teammates to heal them. Oh, the red's coming through. And you know, we're seeing a change up in the comp here from SU. So far, not working out in their favor, but we saw this at the start of the last map as well. Yeah. Where SU didn't have the greatest first push, but then they took it back and then they won the map, of course. Agape now on on Ash. Ash. And this Which, is this is a question that I kind of wonder a lot, so I'm kind of asking you, who do you normally decide with, Ash or McCree? I think they both have good situations. Uh, honestly, on these control point maps, I think Ash ha has a bit of an advantage with the Bob, because Bob counts as contesting a point. Yeah. Which, I mean, that's another body on a point. You take those. You love those. Oh, the Earth Shatter coming through, however. Is B going to be able to keep Make alive? No, he is not. And that's giving two kills for the side of Blinn. Are they going to make it a third? That, that run was low there for a second. Yeah, and he was that's, and that's the thing about kind of Ash and, Ash and McCree. I think both of those characters have pros. I also think both of them can be used as either long or short range characters. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, maybe Ash a little bit longer range. I haven't had a lot of experience with Ash. But yeah, two really good characters. Yeah, Ash is more of the longer range. McCree has that medium range to him. Also has the flash Watching bang. here, Mako getting bounced off. And there's the Graviton oh, there Surge. It finally came out, forcing the sound barrier in response from Blinn. It's going to be the kill onto Zarya here. Here comes the bomb from Blinn. Right, it's going to get them a lot of work. The Ash will not, and the Bob is just going to give some charge here to Zarya, but here comes Hanzo saying, yeah, I've got some arrows for you. You like those? Yeah, Ash is, yes, Ash is all kind of coming out to charge up Beezle. Um, not really doing not, a whole lot. Not, not the old, but just the, the Zarya charge in general is what I'm talking about here. For those unfamiliar with Zarya, whenever you hit her bubbles that she puts on herself for teammates, it charges up her gun. And she deals more damage based on how charged up she is. Oh, going to be taken out by Kipper there, unfortunately, though. Mm. It's, you know, it's unfortunate. Yeah. But um, that's the thing that I'm... Oh, and there's that. The dynamite. That dynamite. Look, Lin is not pushing mm -hmm. the point here. There it is. There's the point push. Mako going to come in here with the Earthshare. Just has to get around that Reinhardt shield and those bubbles looking for the opportunity to strike. Graviton Surge and the oh, Dragon. Oh, combined that's with the Dragon. That's going to be devastating. Securing three members so far of That was SU. a nice combo right there. The 1v1, B is going to be taking that against Juga. Here comes... Oh, good jump across onto the point just <laughs> to get some contesting time there. Not going to make a big difference, though. It's going to need to be this final push for SEU. Yeah, SEU kind of... You can see you can see Mako right there doing oh. what he... Oh, and this could be devastating for, for SEU trying to get a push together, but... They might not be able to without their Rhine. Nope, that, that's the end of the second map here, going Man. inside of Blinn. And I was about to say, I was I was kind of concerned there, thinking Mako may have just needed to get out of there, wait for his team. Maybe got got in a little bit too far, but, you know, it's still a close game, and this is something that we haven't seen a lot. SCU actually having, like, you, you know, competition. Mm -hmm. This is true. This is the first time they're really not able to roll over the competition here. Mm -hmm. And, you know what? That, that's a good thing, Extrusion shaking his head violently here. Just, no, 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 no. Does, does not like what happened there. To no defeat mm -hmm. is to no oneself. Yeah. 
Pain is an excellent teacher. It's funny. To See, game. yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. And, and here we go, activating objective. We're at one one. This is Control it. Point and locks in 23 seconds. This is a close one. Oh, Exciting that arrow. to see. I'm interested to see Kipper on the Hanzo here because he's yeah. had both good plays and there have been times where he just gets shut down immediately. Is this going to be one of those times? Is Agape on the tracer? He just needs one hit, but Kipper's not going to get it. Agape is going to win the one v one here, but as wow. he loses the battle, unfortunately, going after <laughs> treat off the point for the moment. It looks like, yeah, it looks like we're just gonna hold off and wait, wait for the team to group up, hit, hit that poor child in the face. Apparently, uh, I don't know what, weird <laughs> what Reinhardt has against some, maybe some piece of lore. I don't know about, but here we go, looking to make their way <laughs> back, trying to put a Sorry, dent in that, just... trying to put a dent in that Rhein shield. Yeah, they're looking to get through the Rhein shield. We're gonna get through. It. Oh, there's the shatter. That oh. Hit? And there was Reaper getting the, in, in the thick of it, trying to reposition himself. Okay. Um, right to make a great play. I've I've been coming out with the puns today. Whether they're good or not, that that remains to be seen. Oh, there we go, a little bit of tick damage. Do you like that? Here we go. The Hanzo in response from Agape here. This will be interesting to see. Let Let's see whose bow fires the truest here. Coalescence coming out from the side of Lynn Dollage here. Here we go. Just fighting through the laser beam. Who's going to be the first to Oh, and there's a Gothic getting hit by the fire, but it doesn't like matter. Get for the heals. The Death Blossom from Blin. First kill is going to be on the Kipper. Next one on a Surbird from Mako here. And you can see the Reaper Ooh. there trying to reap some rewards. Sure. Definitely trying to reap some for rewards. That's for sure. Is the shower coming down? Yes, it is. Oh. That's good. That's secure. Two members. But at Blin. the same time, Lucio looked like he popped his ult. He did. He did indeed pop But it won't matter as they pretty much clear the entire team. Yeah, that's going to be SEU taking the point here. Something they Some really needed to do, get on that point. Right, but this is what we saw in the first map, that Blim was at a higher percentage and SEU came in and took it and just held it. It's very true. So they just need to keep this held up. Here we have Mako just kind of sitting on the side saying, come up this staircase, I dare ya. And that's the thing, we've seen SCU play some really good defense these past few weeks. Mm -hmm. So I think that once they get on the point, they can kind of sit back a little bit and not relax, but um, have some confidence in what they're able to do. And oh, the dragon being called out extremely early in this fight for the zoning. This is an I, I don't know if I like that play. No, I, you... I, I don't either. But you know what, they're going to secure one kill from it, the Lantern as well going down, they get a second kill, going to make it a third and a fourth, and SU hold the point despite an iffy ultimate. See, it worked out, but I think it, uh, that, the kind of play there is you... Z z kills here is much more important than zoning. You want to clear out as many players as you can. It did work out in the end, but an interesting choice made there. Yeah. Um, by Agape. Yeah, I, I think they're kind of safe here, though, with the fact that they have four ultimates. B can get up his quick, yeah. which will make it Let's five. see what, the, what ult we have. Yeah. The Coalescence, Sound Barrier, good defensive ultimates here. Oh, the Gravitons are... Oh, oh this he's is getting the blossom. Blossom. Death there Blossom! Is! What a perfect That's position, be though. Two Death Blossom kills. Going to be taking out response. The and Lantern a, saving a couple members there. And honestly, I'm surprised that wasn't more kills. That was a really great yeah, position. Yeah, it was all that Lantern from the Baptiste, which we're seeing Baptiste from Blim, which you don't see, like, yeah. ever. In viewers at home, that's the kind of thing you want to do when you have the ult and Reaper, combining that teleport to get into the perfect position mm -hmm. when the enemy's least expecting it. Yep. Grab a dungeon, it's just about ready to go. Actually, all four ultimates popped in that fight. What? Mm. Okay. He does still have his ultimate. Yeah, uh, I'm just looking for B. I was and about to, the say, to use that to keep them off the point, but he used it on the counter on the... the point. The dragon coming out as well. Here we go. It's going the way of SU for the moment. It's just the tanks left for Blin, and it looks like B and Extrusion are going to win it out. Good and play by B to the keep the map. point. Um. Yeah, and I don't know if you saw that thing at the ver toward the very end. That Graviton almost countered the effects of Shatter. Yes, where that, that was the goal, yeah. Yeah, and it's just how IQ plays like that. I don't know if that was intentional. Maybe they just popped him at the same time. But if it was, you got to hand it to be there. And this is that double Shatter. Oh, and there we go. That's exactly what we are. Yeah, just look at that. Just whap, whap. 
There you go. Look at that. SU Beautiful. is gonna take it. SU taking the first map here tonight. And you know what? With that momentum, how are they going to run it to the next one? That is the question here. What are we going to see from SU? They they had a bit of an actual competition compared to other teams where the last few times we've just seen them roll through and we're kind of sitting there going, wow, they make it look easy. And now Blinn says, look, you made it look easy before, but let's show you we're here to play yeah. and we're here to win. Yeah, Blinn definitely coming out. Um, competing with a really, uh, just just a really good team here in SEU. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I'm excited. This is, the, we've got a hot one on our hands. No, this is great. SEU versus Blinn. Uh, who's been the standout player so far in this match? I think we've seen some really good play um, by Agape from B. I, I would say Agape is kind of do, not, not doing his best tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. B doing great with his bubbles getting some good ultimates i think i'm giving it to extrusion okay so, that reaper ex play extrusion had some good reaper play yeah that game and even on the side of blinn uh, i'm gonna give it to kipper here he had some good shots with the yeah. hanzo there i wouldn't say his ultimates were the best he had some great ones combining them but they just didn't get as much work done i think we but did have some some shots. I would say ill-timed ultimates on both sides of, mm -hmm. of, of the of the game. I think Agape, we saw that dragon where, I don't know, maybe he expected the players to push a lot faster, but it just seemed too early um, yeah. to send that dragon out. It was way too early, and he had the dragon eye arrow, so he knew where they were. Okay. So I was just kind yeah. of sitting there thinking, that's an interesting choice. Yeah, it got zoning, but I felt like it could have been used yeah. better in a different situation. But then again, we're not the players. You never know. It did work out for them in the end because it they did. did. You um, know you know what a wise man once said? What's a wise man? It may be sloppy, but I got it done. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'd call them a wise somebody, man, yeah. but it's a person nonetheless. <laughs> Okay, so Junkertown. Yeah. This is a really interesting it, map. One of my favorites. I, I think this is probably my favorite map. Really? Probably yeah. your favorite. Besides, like, I like Hollywood. Besides, like, Hollywood's good, too. Um, but besides, like, the Halloween version of maps or the Christmas version okay. of maps, I like those as well. Um, especially mm. Christmas. Yeah. Like, you get some snowmen and it, stuff. It looks like Stealthy's gonna hop in. Yeah. So Who's he replacing? Was uh, it? He replaces Gaming, Gaming Legacy, Legacy. Who is, of course, uh, the healer. The mm -hmm. healer swap. We have a healer um, on standby here. So this will be, this will be interesting to see. Absolutely. Um, talking about Junkertown, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my favorite map is, but I do like Junkertown. I think probably my favorite map isn't so much a specific map, but any map that y gives me opportunities to play some really good McCree, some really good, um, some really good Junkrat. I mean, Junker Town is. I don't know if you'd call it Junkrat's I, I map, but I mean, it's themed around. It's him. themed around him because that's like where he's from. But at the same time, I wouldn't say it's a good map mm -hmm. for him in particular. But maybe I'll be proven wrong. Maybe we'll see some yeah. Junkrat. Tonight. This is a great map. I love to play McCree, especially so many opportunities to get a really good Dead Eye. Mm -hmm. um, Especially in that first out. push, which is why I like this map. There's so much variety to it. Mm. You know, you get to see uh, a lot of long-range stuff on the first point, which if our track record is anything to show, Agape probably going to pull up the Widowmaker here. Okay, yeah, um, we saw... Oh, this was the map where we saw a lot of those Widowmaker mm -hmm. plays from Agape our last match, was which was recorded right here in this room. It was. It was as well. This is what happens when... Prepare your defenses. Uh, here we Speaking go. of which, Welder, <gasps> we're seeing Zenyatta. Okay, here we go. We talked oh, about him a little bit. Let me talk about Zenyatta. Let me tell you about this Before guy. you do that, I think we're forgetting something, Finn. Oh, yeah, we did. I was actually going to mention it. Hold on. Hold up. We need to transition back over here. Hold up. We have an important tradition if you're not familiar so with it. We only it. have like 30 seconds. Yeah, so. let, let's go quick. So, rock, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aha, I stay in the chair. Okay. <laughs> For those unfamiliar, I don't maybe know why you didn't I did catch rock. our last stream on last Monday. Uh, we only have one gaming chair in this current area we're in. Uh, so we play rock, paper, scissors in between maps to decide who gets the gaming chair and who gets the other chair. Which I actually like that chair. It, it's not a bad wooden chair. Um, anyways. Uh, no! No Widowmaker, it's, it's the Ash. This oh, beautiful wow. headshot, though. On to Blue, Very nice on to Kipper there. on the Widowmaker there. 
That's gonna be unfortunate for him. Also, it's Widowmaker Genji. That's interesting. Hmm. So first of all, B going to be getting the first kill here, which I want to talk about this for a second. Wait, 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 wait. I just realized B is on healer. B is on healer. B is on healer and Nadian's on tank. What is going wow, on? This is interesting. This is chaos. I would think maybe DPS for B if, if not tank, but healer. Healer is, is quite the... I, I just realized, I even looked at it, I was like, oh, B's playing Zinyah, that's awesome. But, but you no, don't it's realize B it's a playing Zinyah. Man. Which, Zinyah did not, not even meta pick, really. Yeah. But, let me just say, I love Zinyah. Zinyah is probably my favorite character to play. I yeah. think I'd say that about a lot of characters. But, like, look at that. The fact that with Zen, you're just like... Healing for you, Discord for you. Yeah. No cooldowns. Just focus this guy. Focus this guy. You're being healed. I'm focusing this guy. I'm shooting people. You He's got this cultist skin, which I think is like the coolest skin in the game besides the Sherlock skin. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't. I don't like the Sherlock skin. Well, but that's okay. Now going back to some of the other characters on the map. Yeah. yeah. I think we talked about Genji for a little bit, or we we, we mentioned he was on there. Yeah. Genji's I feel like. There. I feel like Genji is one of those characters where he's a difficult character to play, Very but he can be insanely, insanely just, you know, good. I don't know if there's any other way to describe it. He just bought out good no, it, when you really I get agree. the hang of him. Yeah, you know, he's he's one of those characters where it's, it takes dedication. Yes. To be a Genji. Because you're all about getting into the back line. Speaking of Genji, Genji gonna get hooked here. And the hook comes off cooldown. Yes, he is, and he will fall. I've noticed the hog's hook. Has has it increased in length? It's no, it, it's the same. It seems like its range is always a lot more than I expect when <laughs> when I'm in matches. I, I feel like just whenever you play Roadhog, it suddenly the hook range gets shorter. Exactly. And then when the enemy plays Roadhog, it's suddenly longer. Like, I'm like flying halfway across the map on that hook. Yeah, exactly. But then when you do it, it's like two inches. That's just how it works. I I, I don't know. I, I think they just give a handicap to other people in the game but extrusion on the summer here almost ready with the emp call let's just call that from blim but what is that melody gravitic flux is out extrusion going to be taken low here b transcendence ready to go here just going to keep them back su is holding nothing back and this zenyatta pick is working ladies and gentlemen who doubted me red team if you're watching this you doubted me i said it or and agreed with me zenyatta baby zenyatta is where it's at yeah, B's looking really good. Just staying at the back, firing off shots, healing his teammates. Um, y you know, it's 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 a different pick for B, but mm -hmm. I, I can't say I don't like it. I like it. Like, so when when Overwatch came out, I'm gonna tell a little story here. Sure. As we're watching. Oh, never mind the nano nano blade coming out. The EMP isn't going to catch him. EMP misses, so the Bob's gonna have to be called out in response here. The Dragon Blade finally over, however. The deflect, looking for the burn. The burn's not going to hit. I'm really invested in this 1v1. B is going to oh. be taking down them. Resin's gonna be Genji taking it. Juka taking it, but Extrusion getting the kill. And Juka response B going to fall a second time here. Extrusion teleporting up, going for the hack on a Reinhardt here. Here we go. Looks Just like Red Team might have something some damage. Here. Yeah. Blin and these last few moments are going to make the push, but SEU just has to get back to the point here, and that will secure them victory. The Tracer on the back line to just get to the point faster if she does in fact die. The hook going to miss here. Tracer just poking stun. The Earth Shatter coming through and the kills as well. Looks like Blin is going to make their way towards this first point. Yeah, SEU trying to hold them off, but in the nick of time, it looks hits. like they may get this. It's gonna be It's gonna close. be close, but it looks like, and yep. with that, Yes, they do get the Blin gets they the do get the checkpoint. checkpoint. That's gonna be two and a half minutes added to the clock here as they begin their descent into Junkertown. And a great job, great hustle there, making the push, getting it just in the nick of time, but you wonder if the delay it took them is gonna cost them later in the matches. Mm -hmm. Now they have less overall time to get it yeah, two and to, and a half to the end of the map. Is a long time, but is it enough time? The burn going to come through onto the Reinhardt shield? Just taken away slowly but surely. That's what you want, that's what you need. And I want to talk about Sigma as well. We don't Please see do. we we saw Sigma for a long time and Sigma's starting to come back. I like Sigma uh just in terms of his lore as a character. He's a fun character. He's also the only tank I'm really good at. Uh because I'm just not very good at tanks. But Sigma I find I can do well with, which is fantastic. He's interesting to play. His playstyle is very unique for a tank. I feel like he can put out a lot of damage. Oh, the nano boost on the monkey, however, is going to cause some problems for SUB. All the way in the back line of Blin here. 
just looking to get some hits and get some damage because Zenyatta is not a support. He's a DPS, ladies and gentlemen. Intrusion almost ready with the EMP here. Looking to charge it up as Ow. fast as possible. I just <laughs> ran my knee into the <laughs> death. It's, it's just, uh, you know, it, it's all good. It really it's, is. It's part of... I, I don't think there's any character in this game that hurts himself to do anything. And Blin making up for lost time by hurrying over to that second checkpoint, getting there um, at a pretty good pace right now. Mm -hmm. I think Blin should, should be feeling good about how they performed in this yeah. first match. Yeah. Some damage here comes the bear. I'm watching for this Gravitic Flux, however. That, that's why I feel is going to make or break this next engagement. As Blin really pushing through two minutes on the clock here. It's going to be tight for Blin. And don't forget, SU, even if they get the full push, it's not a loss. Oh, here we go. Universe sings for them. Going to pull them up and make it sure they can't combo into those dragons there. It's going to be three kills for the side of SU. They're looking to make it all six here as they chase off the final members of Blin, taking them off the point and out of the factory. Here we go. Transcendent ready to go as well. Same with the EMP and the Valkyrie. Whole hog almost ready to go as well. Was that... Is that McCree? Looks like Agape okay. is Okay, and we saw a little bit of this in the last round. Not in the uh, last from, round today, from, from but from, 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 from No, no, I'm saying we saw Agape oh, play McCree from last week. Yes, yes, we did My apologies well. there. Yeah. It's going to be interesting here. Agape just looking for some poke here. And this is what McCree's going to go poke. Oh, he gets the flashbang, but Juka going to get the kill in response here. B, Transcendence ready to go, that ultimate healing. Oh, it's gonna be the battle against the Tracer! It's gotta be that kill secured! Cause Zenyatta, if he can hit those headshots with the Discord, that's a dead Tracer. EMP yeah. is going to be activated here, and the Coalescence is going to have to be called up, but it's going to be stopped by Agape there on the back line with the flashbang, and he's got Deadeye ready to go, but it doesn't even I wanna, I wanna need to be used. I wanna spend some time on Agape if we can. Yeah. I just, I re there's nothing I like more than a perfectly timed, perfectly placed dead eye. Oh, there's, Those there's are just so satisfying. Yeah. And I think there's some ults that I don't want to say take s every. Let me let me make this clear. Almost every ult takes some skill to use, but then some ults take less skill than others. You look at like Roadhog's whole hog. You look at like Diva's um, uh, self destruct. Ooh. I think dead eye is one of those ults that really takes a lot of a lot of strategic thinking to use right. That's an interesting point of view for sure. Oh it's high noon. Oh but you could get me taken down before that high noon can go through. Getting the flashbang. Might not even need to pop the Deadeye here. The nano boost onto the right. And honestly it's going to be a problem though the Oh he pops the Deadeye. Oh it's gonna oh. be close. It's gonna be so close he gets manages to get two kills for a second there I thought he was in trouble. I, I did as you well. had you had the combination you had the combination oh, of Ryan's shield, you had the fact that they were hiding behind the payload, everything spelled disaster, he waited just long enough for them to peek. That was a beautiful dead eye. And it worked out great. Oh like we said, God. nothing more satisfying than a good dead eye as the round is complete. You're, you're really not wrong, there's nothing quite like hearing that. It's uh, and then draw, and just the bodies fall. That's what you want to happen in this game. I'm dying slowly. <laughs> <laughs> it's this Australian air. Um, anyways. Here we go. With SCU on the attack here. I'm looking at the camera, and I always have to remember, you guys can't see when I look at the camera, but that's okay. Um, but this is it. The attack. The time has come to attack, attack, attack. And SCU needed to go almost all the way with this. Pretty close to Everybody all the way. And this be oh he's changed the skin no man yes it's a Christmas skin yes I love Christmas but the cultist skin it it it's just it's better but we're seeing Zenyatta so I cannot complain and I will not complain when you think he's gonna change the player but instead he changes the skin mm. it's a it's a harsh day indeed yeah. now let me ask you Finn let me ask let me ask you this. Do you think that some players play better with certain skins, or do you think it's all just in their heads? I, I, I think it's in their heads. And you know, there's one important thing for people that don't know in the actual Overwatch League, uh, so you know, the step beyond collegiate level, mm -hmm. you can't use skins. Really? I did no. not know that. 
Yeah, they all have to use the default skins because some skins blend in differently with. Oh my gosh, Juka. Just burning into him. They're, oh, they're and there's Extrusion trying to hide in. Getting, He's getting on that back line. Waiting to make a play. Damage boost. Wait, no, Agape is this way. <laughs> it, it's hard when I can't just uh, shortcut key them. The damage boost did Ash. Ash does, of course, a chunk of damage with every single scoped in shot. Just looking for him here. And is that the Widowmaker? It is the Widowmaker. Here we go. Oh, the burning on the Widowmaker. Kipper is going to have to be careful, and Kipper is going to be taken down by B. Oh, oh. and you guys, well, and oh! oh wow. Nom, nom, eat those bullets, my friend. Yeah. Because that's exactly what you just did. Ash didn't even care that oh. there was a Mercy on that player. Nope, he said, I'll take you and I'll take your Mercy as well. Wow, Agape playing lights out right now. Dude, he says, I may not be on the Widow, but I'm going to still hit these snipes. Right? Look at that Scorpion skin, though, Kipper. Gain the shot. And Agape, for the... not done yet as he gets the revive. Nope. Not Ooh. stealthy. He says, yeah, you're alive, my friend. Let's get some more beautiful Oh, and there's that Widow here. maybe trying to peek. Uh, no, I think Widow's that not a Widow? Yeah, that, that was Ash. Oh, okay. About, no, Widow is up top here. Barrier gonna be called back from Miko here. Just gonna go for some poke damage here. As most of Blin just playing a frontal assault. Oh my gosh, B, you're disgusting, mate. I love the Zen pick. I love it. Can we get more of this? Like, I love it so much. Look, look at that. He almost won that against wow. Azaria. Like, not that's a fight fantastic. Not win, but the fact that he was able to stay in it. Oh, quite impressive. wait. Extrusion around the Hanzo? I like it. I like it. Oh, Peaks sees the Widowmaker oh, there. Sees the Widowmaker. Agape going for the fight. Why would you stand in that dynamite? Agape, what are you doing? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> that fight there was incredible. That was the greatest. Ash versus Ash. Ash. <laughs> Neither of them able to really do anything. Bop, bop. Pop, miss, 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 just over and over again, man. Oh, boy. Yeah. Love to see it. You love to see it. Oh, Trujan. Just looking, looking for Kipper, if I had to mention. What is that melody, though, Sigma asks. And it looks like Glenn is going to answer him with a death on the om nom nom here. Because the rest of SU is just going to push through currently with a minute up. On Blin from there, but yep, the whole hog going to be put out. That's why I was staying here. I was expecting this, and it looks like we're going to get it. That's gonna be three, make it four kills for the side of SU. We'll be pushing through here towards the factory and towards victory on this second map. Here we go, Mako on the front line here. Golden. What, what, what would you think with like gold on your hand like that? That's gotta be heavy, right? Gold is notoriously heavy. So. It, it, exactly. So. But, but, here's the thing, mm -hmm. is I think when you're dealing with a character like Sigma, gravity has a different meaning. Mm, that's true. That, that is very true. Oh, spotted. Hit once. Can he hit hit? Oh, again? tries to jump and get a little bit more height there. Not able to Transcendence do it. Transcendence coming out here from Bean to help kind of get rid of that Bob. Bob and Kip going to fall here. Extrusion. Looking for some poke shots here. Looking to get rid of that Reinhardt shield. Not going to happen yet. But they're looking for it. SCU is just hungry for victory here. And it's going to keep and keep pushing until they can claim it. Here we go. Oh, oh, Winston. You don't want to be there, my friend. And he says nope to that and jumps on out. But Nadine just holding the front line. Here comes the, oh, Earth, Shatter. the Earth Shatter. Here we go. Stealthy with the Valkyrie coming out. The increased healing and the flying just going to be healing as much as possible. Keep everybody alive. And it's going to work for now. Bob, do something once again. Coming out from the side of Blinn. It's going to be the second Bob in a little while. Two kills for Blinn already. Trying to make it a few more. It's going to be three, four, five, six. And it's going to be all of us falling. That was indeed a team kill. Here we go, though. In terms as everybody knows who's played this game mode, it's at times like this when the match can really get tough for the attackers. Mm -hmm. Defenders constantly respawning, don't have a ton of length to travel, not a ton of distance, excuse me, to travel. Um, and it's it's at this point when, you know, I would I would definitely say Blin has the advantage from a match standpoint. Mm -hmm. We'll yeah. see who wins out. But you know, SU with three ultimates here. Oh, here we go, the monkey on the back line. That's not what you want as a Hanzo. 
and it's going to get them to kill the Hanzo, but Extrusion going to be res by Stealthy here. Going into the fight, the Bob is sent out to get this first push. Yugo Waka taking more dragons from the side of Blin here. Going to get some good damage off. Going to be one kill to the side of SEU so far. No kills to the side of Blin yet. Just waiting for that respawn of their Reinhardt. Monkey on the bite. Backline, here we go. The Extrusion Dragons going to secure three. B going to follow in response though. An extrusion going to be taken down finally with the charge here. But it doesn't matter when the tanks are pushing the payload, and that's going to be victory for SEU with the team kill, ladies and gentlemen. GG. Wow. Nice match. Yeah, I think this is a good jungler team. This has been a really fun night. I think we've seen some good competition on both sides. I don't want to say up the ball because, you know, also I love that skin for Ash. <laughs> but and Bob too. But yeah, we've seen some Ooh. Oh, that was a nice shot there. Look at that Bob positioning there. Just able to go around looking. Look at that. Oh, wow. That was, good. that was very good. I was wondering why that was the play of the game until that. They had me in the first half, not gonna lie. had me in the first half, not gonna lie. You know what else is super excited and is about to have us? This most epic of games known as Rock, is it rock Paper Scissors. scissors? It's rock, Paper, Scissors. Rock, rock paper, paper, Scissors, Shoe. Rock, rock paper, paper, Scissors, Shoe. shoe. All right. Okay, get out of there. All right, I'm getting out of there. Go around. Over here. Ah. Yeah, I know. It's, you got to, like, jump on over. Look at that. Nailed it. How's it feel? Right now, I think there's, like, a, crink, a kink in my shoulder or something, but <laughs> I'm going to get this pillow out of here. Right, I wonder what, what, what kind of map do you think we're going to go to next? It's got to be a hybrid map. So it's a control point into a payload. We typically see King's Row. I like that map. But maybe we'll see Hollywood. Maybe we will. Ho Hollywood is great, especially because of those new additions they just added with the platforms. So mm -hmm. if you don't know, you know those platforms in Hollywood where they just go up, down, all the time you have to wait for them to come back down. Sometimes you miss it. They're super slow. Even when you get on, it's a long way up. Now, they always stay down until player gets on, then they spring right up. A great addition, in my opinion. Kind of just speeds up the pacing of the game, allows you to get into strategic points faster. That way you're more focused on action and strategy than just waiting to go up on the ramp. So Than just saying there being like... So yeah, if we do see Hollywood, we'll be able to see a full presentation of that new update and how these players utilize it. I, I will swap to the player that is on the little platforms Please every do, time. just for like, me. Like, every time. Just for me. Just so you can see it. It won't matter. Like, there's a big team fight going on and they're not even close. This thing rocks. You okay there? Yep. This thing rocks. I yep. forgot that. It's scary. Welcome to my it's King's house. Row. Oh, King's Row. It's we King's talked Row. about it and there you go. It, now we're, we're going to London, boys. Now, we talked about the playmaker for that game. Again, all players playing well. I think this time it was Agape and that Ash. Mm-hmm. I don't know, yeah, though. I, I think that was good. Um, Maybe. That, that dragon ultimate, though, from Extrusion at the end is what really secured that push. That is true as well. That final push. But I yes, think this, was a, got some fantastic this was shots. a good combination, too, of a lot mm -hmm. of players showing their best. Oh, I agree 100%. This was really a showing of SU just skill on all levels from every player is what it was. It was really everyone working together this night and that's what you want to see from an overwatch team that's exactly. the most important yeah thing. overwatch Good. is a team based game after for all. sure an interesting play oh and it looks like stealthy is going to be swapping back out for gaming legacy dun, dun, dun. um we talked about that how b made a really interesting choice switching to a healer mm -hmm. instead of sticking with you know a tank or maybe dps but i think it paid off for them i think it really did help dude he showed up on that side I am so happy we get to see Zenyatta played in competitive here. Because I, once again, love Zenyatta. You want to know why I felt drawn to Zenyatta when he the game was first announced? Tell me about it. Purely because he didn't use a gun, he didn't use a weapon, he just... It's so great. I was it's like, really oh satisfying my gosh. to watch. Yeah, it's it, so it smooth. Is. And his reload's just... And that's it. And you have other players it's that great. don't shoot a gun, like you have Ryan, but... You know, more but bulky, more just... I feel like Zenyatta is just really graceful and really smooth and fluid in his movements yeah. and just something... Like, I could just watch him just all day. Well, did you all know day long. that uh, when the game originally came out, you you could easily tell who was walking up just by listening to footsteps? Mm -hmm. Except for Zenyatta. Because Zenyatta he doesn't didn't have, have footsteps. footsteps. Exactly. Because he floats. So everyone was like, oh my gosh. Was that... Was that... Yeah, and... 
I mean, now you got several characters that don't walk. Echo, you got Echo. Got e- or, uh, Mer- Mercy walks. Yeah, yeah Mercy, Mercy walks. walks. But Sig- Sigma and Echo float yeah. as well. So they don't have any footstep noise. And technically, I mean, if you have the old, you got Bastion who's driving. Yeah, but he makes mm. noise. He's. That's true. It's like uh, Fury. If you've ever seen the movie, just loud tank noises mm. the whole time. No. Just tanks on tanks on. Never tanks. seen that movie. I, 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 I it's, it's good. So, I have a special announcement for our viewers at home. Your boy Austin finally reached, ranked level 25. Yeah, you did. How does it feel? It's kind of, kind of, I think it was kind of overhyped. <laughs> like, I got into a ranked map expecting it to be, like, eye-opening. Uh-huh. Did you lose? Yes. <laughs> but, ranked is a lot tougher, too. Oh, it's, yeah. Everyone there just sweats. It's, it's like when you play Fortnite on your Switch, and it's kind of just like, oh, playing Fortnite on my Switch is fun and stuff. And then you go play Fortnite on the PC. <laughs> and everyone's and trying. And you, like, literally take a shot at a person. And within 10 seconds of them taking a shot, they built, like, a fortress. <laughs> it's like... I mean, you've, you've played with the Fortnite team, right? I have played with the Yeah, Fortnite we, we both did, actually. And <laughs> flipping, like, the They're people in those sweats. lobbies, they've, they've tryhard so much. That is true. That it's is great. True. I love it. Absolutely. Because I'm, I'm trash at building. So I just rely on I think it's skills. a lot of reaction time, honestly. But not just reaction time, but getting used to, like, where to go. So I'm standing here, I'm not going to press the keys, but, like, it's just a... Yeah, you're going to be like, this button, this button, this button. And that's why, some pe- that's why some people adjust their personal controls to make mm-hmm. it easier and more fluid of emotion. But, yeah. Yeah. Fortnite that, people are sweats, is, I think, is the conclusion of this discussion. <laughs> that is the conclusion. Fortnite kids are sweats. Yeah. And we're entering the game now. King's, King's Row. Row. What do you think about this map? What do you like? I, I like this map. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, in terms of hybrid Kind of reminds maps, me of, like, England, almost. Like, kind of like the sewers of England. <laughs> it is England. Oh. Well, then that's why. <laughs> it's King's Row, London. Oh. Yeah. No, we're I didn't know if it was, London. like, Germany or something. No, no, no. I, I can bold is uh, Germany. That's also a great map. Because you were asking me about favorite maps. That's also one. Uh, I would have thought King's Row actually is in England, folks. Yeah, I've been there. Actually, it's, it's a pretty okay. cool place. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. We're not here to learn about your life. No, I'm just kidding. Here we go, cool. Defense for SE. Only Gaming Legacy. Legacy. What kind of skin was that? Was that the Magician skin I saw? Uh, Gaming Legacy? Legacy? No, not that one. Keep going. Keep going. No, never mind. Really? I thought I, I thought I saw like was a, it. Was it just the top hat? On yeah, it was the top hat. I thought it was like yeah, a... No, this is the jazz skin. Yeah. You like jazz? No. No, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah. I don't know. I think Lucio has a lot of great skins. A lot of kind of lackluster skins. I know people have talked about his um, hockey skin as being lackluster, like especially because it is a legendary. But I mean, it could be worse. You could have like, you could have. It could be football. <laughs> Trigger point activated. I mean, he has a football. He has a football skin. Football. Uh, which we are going go. go. so technically he does have a football skin. Mm-hmm. But here we go as Mako SU deciding to play the back. Oh, beautiful oh. headshot there. Uh, deciding to play back here and not pushing oh. towards the choke point. I think you you saw Gape trying to get up to that ledge. Oh, the the flanking here. Watch, watch it, they're, they're really pushing here. The hack on the B, unfortunately not going to be able to bubble anybody for the moment. Is going to bubble up now, though, and bubble up his teammate as well. Almost at full charge already. Just going to be putting out that damage now. As it's just consistent damage when you're fully charged. Extrusion jumping in as well. The line, they're going after this Diva. Not the able to live for long. Looking just... You just oh, need wow. one hit. You just need oh, one man. hit, Extrusion. That was... Extrusion almost got embarrassed for a second. Maybe he was hoping we weren't, not, we weren't oh, viewing him at that moment. The double co. Just laser beams on laser beams wow. as one falls on each side. A support for a tank and the hat coming through. Nadian's going to... Ah, oh, he's so close! Okay, he's living heals. for now. He's oh, not going to live forever, though. Both healers down the side of SEO, and they're going to lose the point. And that's going to be the point cap for Blim. And if I'm talking as, like, you know, somebody who's never played Overwatch much or is just watching is kind of a noob to the game, it's kind of at moments like these, these dogfights, where I realize just how valuable a good healer can be. Mm-hmm. 
um, you know, just somebody there who is your support, who can back you up, who can, you know, heal you. I mean, like, I, I really, I can't overcomplicate it. It's a very simple concept, but one that's just important to oh. remember is there was a nice shot there. Oh, Agape going to me. <laughs> wow. Just absolutely Agape collapsed. got crafted right there. Oh, the Graviton Surge coming up, though. Die, die, die. Securing two. It might be a third. Or no, Juka here, but Shuja going, going to actually kill Juka in response. Ursha are not going to be put out here. But Mako will fall. That will be two ultimates pop for the side of Blin. I like this push Blin's got right now. Yeah. One ultimate pop for SU here. This will be interesting. Death Blossom's Notice ready to go. that Death Blossom's there. If he can once again just reposition himself. Yeah, it's probably the Shatter Death Blossom combo. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see it? Watching Mako for that initiation here. They're. Oh, the nerf oh. and the hack going to be blocked, only securing one kill in the game. Let's see B going to fall as well, however. Don't think we're seeing that combo right now, though, because SEU is falling, and they're falling fast. Unless the solo. No, they're going to save it for now. And Here I comes the chase. And I didn't like that ultimate pop by, um, by D.Va. I think really? that... Because I think that here's the thing, and again, you know more about this than I do, but I feel like for ultimates like that, you kind of got to pop them when you're when the when the two teams are going at it, it's crazy, people are thinking a million different things. There was not much there. He kind of just tried to jump himself in the middle of the team, but everyone was sort of ready for it, you know? And I feel like maybe you should have held on to that one a little longer. Only, shatter. Only produced one kill, but again, you know more than me. Oh, that's unfortunate. The Death Blossom. The Earth Shatter went through, but the Death Blossom was just eaten up by the Diva there. But will be two kills for SU. They're looking to just push back now. Going to get some charge here on the Zarya. And SU. Just going to push back. Okay, okay. Just two just ultimates used. Not really getting much out of them, but they do win this fight. Yeah, I think at this point, SU kind of just needs to regroup, get their bearings. With 4 minutes and 12 seconds and not too far oh, here we go. Angry Monkey. Oh. And there you go for Blend to travel. Yeah, 4 minutes is a heck of a lot of time in Overwatch. They gotta hold this point sure. for a long time. Or not the point, but you know what I'm talking about. I feel like they're confident in their ability to throw Gravity Surge. There it is. It's gonna catch up. Oh, all this could be big. One. And the it dragon is gonna be big. It's a big play here for SU. It's gonna be the suicide from. Jupiter. And that's the thing, though, is like you can never count out SU at any point in the game. I think they've kind of proven to us at this point that they're a team that can compete with the best of the best. So you know, never really, never, I, I never count them out. There's no. three minutes and thirty seconds, only a little bit to travel, but we'll see if they can cook something up to maintain possession here. That's for sure. Coalescence. Barrier, uh, Death Blossom almost ready to go here. And then we got some old shatter as well. Shatter. First Dragon's just used. Just looking just for used it. in a really great way, might oh. I add. Oh. Oh. oh, come on, Agape, you can do it. <laughs> well, we'll come back to that yeah. adventure. There's an engagement going on over here. Agape fumbling <laughs> around just a little bit there. The greatest enemy of any Overwatch player. You know, I think we should we should kind of put together when you don't think they're recording moments. <laughs> just just <laughs> Overwatch moments where it's kind of like that Reaper when he was uh, when uh, Extrusion was desperately trying to take down that single diva <laughs> out of the net. <laughs> just moments when hopefully they're not watching this. <laughs> hopefully the spectators are not watching. Because if we're either. recording these, we should put together a compilation one day. We should. Let's let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. We can do that. I'm sure I'm sure esports can find it in the budget. And listen, we'll probably have to work a little overtime. Probably we'll get a little oh. boost in pay. Um, but you know, oh, I think, I think we can make it happen. We got to last one days. Going to secure a kill. I'm gonna make trying to wait. Trying to wait for the right moment. And this could be a good place for the death yep. blossom. That'll be it. And there you go. That's gonna be two kills. Only secured. two kills. I thought Ooh. you would get a little bit more out of that, but I mean, not terrible. Oh no, it's falling apart faster than you can say falling apart. Did I see apart. who had that shatter though? Does does the, Mako have a shatter? Mako, shatter? Excuse sorry, me. Sorry, um I it's Yeah, yes, he does, he have, does have a shatter. Going to need to be used here. It's going to be used. It's going to secure one member here. Death Boss is going to secure much. two kills for the side of Blin, however, and with B on the, the Wrecky ball. ball just trying to stall one kill for SEU here. That's one to three. The shield engage, another falls, and this it's going to be the last standing member for the moment they need to it. get to the point. 
And it's gonna be a full push for Glenn with yeah. a minute twenty nine on the clock. I think that end that end game there was a lot of the ults probably not racking up as many kills as they needed. Mm -hmm. I don't think I think sometimes you know I think that you know was it Excursion as Reaper? I think yes. he kind of had the right idea with the Death Blossom towards the end, right positioning, just. Didn't really get the kills that I think he yeah, expected. Yeah, it was just unfortunate. The tanks were on him there. There was a time where he popped it, and he was just defense matrix, and all of the shots were absorbed by the matrix. So that was unfortunate for him. So SU now has to look to get the full push, hopefully with more time in their bank than Blin, and then just look to win over time. Yeah. That's going to be the goal here. So make sure you got your tea and your crumpets and you don't spill them because this is where things get intense. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. The, the Hanzo is still going to be used? I'm sure that. Maybe? Hmm. Potentially? I'm just curious if we're actually going to see this still. Because I, 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 don't, I don't know how I feel about it. You know? Yeah. I don't know. I think there were some good play. Obviously, you know, you had that nice combo with the um, Graviton and the Dragon. But, you know, I don't know if we saw enough for of that Hanzo to really justify keeping him in the game. Maybe switching yeah. it out with another character as the play. <laughs> but again, we'll just have to wait and see what he decides to do. I definitely agree. It looks like it's going to be keep kept for now, not keeped. That's not a word. But here we go. Forward onto Darkness. The May coming out from Glenn here. This is going to be interesting. Going to be Man. walling off the team here. But SU survives the attempted kind of ambush, as it were. And is going to secure the first kill. Mako going to fall, though. It's going to be a tank for a tank. And now a second tank down for the side of SU. Oh, and there's that May. The anti onto Agape here. Are they going to make oh, some out of it? It's May, going to be 3-3, three, three, and it's the May, be SU farm. The May there didn't have a lot of health remaining. Um... Oh my days, you did not. And while I'm thinking of more puns to use throughout this match, I'm sure SU thinking of the right strategy. You think of Moira puns to use? Okay, okay, well done, well there, done. There you go, there we go. Well, I'll make some character puns. It's high noon already here for the side of Blint. Gaming Legacy jumping out in front of the shield! What are you doing? Yeah, I don't know what, what was going on there. We've seen Gaming Legacy kind of swap playing time a little bit between him and Stealthy. Um, hasn't really made a lot of plays yet to, de to, to show why he deserves to get a full spot, but... Yeah, she's working her hardest, that's for certain. Uh, just an interesting play was the teleport coalescence going to be popped, as it usually is. But there's is that, there's the that wall right in front the wall, of wall, yeah, but it doesn't matter. You're just getting it for the heals, getting it for a little bit of damage. The anti, however, is going to be two kills for the side of SU. Even oh, and that's anti, a great play by the... Oh, wow, that's a... We could be looking at potential play of the game right That's there captured. from Nadian. Yeah, that was some good, just some good more. I was a little worried because of that wall. Sure, you get the heals, but. That's kind of the point of the ult, is to maximize both damage and heals in one go, and mm -hmm. that's exactly what Nadian was able to accomplish. Yeah, we just need to see some more of that for sure. And here we go, as SU now securing the payload and moving forward. Yeah. Reinhardt's going to rein it in. Just kind of control the flow of this fight with the Shatter, I feel. Especially with the Graviton and the Death Blossom. Just comboing those together. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do. That's what you can do. That's what you're going to look to do. Here we go. Death Blossom. The teleport up onto the back lane. Looking for an early Death Blossom in this engagement. Hammer down. Death Blossom in response. Oh, wow. No, no Death Blossom in response here. Just going to go in for some damage. Fire at will here. It must be close to Christmas because that tank was looking like a reindeer. Okay. That Rindy. one. Why, why a deer? Because he stampeded through the competition. Do deer stampede? They may. He he tr he 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 bulldozed. Not I like stampede better. Uh, he ran I, over I it. He, he ran he, over. He ran everybody. over. He rhymed over him. Rhymed over him. Yeah. That one was worse. I like that yeah. One better. I'm honestly surprised. Okay, the dragon is just kind of zone off here. Going to get a kill onto Chef here. They they're looking got that death it. blossom. Yeah. I I'm, ex I'm honestly surprised we didn't see him in the previous place. Oh, the blizzard. Wraith walk out. Oh, oh. That's one see kill. It. You may see you it. You seeing it? 
<laughs> no, we're gonna see just the Hellfire shotguns going through here. Yeah, I'm, I'm oh, sure Excursion He was just... looking for it for a second there. Did you see that? Yeah, we may we may get a teleport to, to get to a better location. See that? Which is, I'm it's sure. high noon. Ah! Oh, and there it is. There it is, the high noon going to Man, one. Mc McCree having a little bit of McGreed on that one. McGreed. But you only got one. Yeah. That's, it, it, that's the thing is sometimes it, it'd be, this it, is a lesson though is the more greed you have the less you'll end up with mm. yeah no see if he died you could say man he was just being the greedy the greedy right there yeah but i think yeah Ooh. i guess still that death is blossom it? he's holding on to okay. but the oh and there the you teleport. go there's the teleport come on extrusion i believe in gets you gets the heals i believe in gets you gets rid of the gets rid of the may I'll go and put him to steam though. The gravity surge coming out and it's going to be SEU falling rather quick here. Now Extrusion just trying not to stagger here. Going to look to come up here. Teleport, not going to make it in time, however. Probably should have just stayed back and not engage there at that point. Finn, I thought of a joke. Okay. We Did you just about... look up? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, looked up a, I looked up a joke um, about Zenyatta because we were talking about him. Uh-huh. It's... <laughs> Tell me. Why is it? you doing my core boy? Why is Zenyatta the bravest Overwatch character? Why? Because he has more balls than anyone. Oh my gosh, that's so stupid. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. It's I high think... new once again from Juka, however. And Extrusion still has that death blossom. <gasps> what? Is this oh, it? This is it. This has got to be It'll, it. There are only three members alive, so it's not going to no. be it. It's, it's, it's not it. You got to admire <laughs> Extrusion's <laughs> patience <laughs> for just trying to find the best spot. But also, you know, you don't want that ult to go to waste. Yeah. You know what they say? You reap what you sow, and you got to wait for those crops to grow before you can reap in the you first place. You just stole that from me. But ha, okay. ha. I, I, I saw it in your eyes. I could see you I were waiting to make it. that joke, I and, and I was like, oh, he's thinking of a Reaper joke, too. So I'm gonna make it for. Oh, go and put a governor's here. This is the Death Blossom! Is this it? No, it's the dragon. No, the dragon. It, it's the it worked dragons. out, though. You know, they accomplished what they wanted to. Oh, here we go. Is this it? Should just go on for the damage no, anyway. He says, I don't need an ultimate to get kills. I just need shotguns and a dream. And, well, maybe and he doesn't he, have to is, dream when it's a reality. Is this gonna be the thing where he doesn't end up popping this ult the entire match? <laughs> Yeah, he just sits with the Death Blossom, and you're like, Reaper, use your ult! And Extrusion's like, Is no. he really not gonna pop it? No, this, this, it's gonna get popped. Get, yeah. He's gonna pop it. You don't, oh, wait, here it is, here it is. Die, It'll die. Win. Just going to help secure it, the one kill, but it is kill, a take kill. kill. Yeah. They take those. The Blizzard. The Blizzard's gonna keep Blin alive for now. No, it's not. They actually just stay on the point and push and, all the way. And you had to admire Extrusion's patience, but I think even he knew. You know what? This match is gonna be over. Let me get just get the kills. Yeah, it's three to three. Now it all comes down to this. How far is Blin going to take this push? They get to push first here. For those unfamiliar with overtime, since we haven't had one actually yet, it's gonna be Blin attacking first. They get points based on how far they cap slash push, and then SU gets another chance to attack and push, and we go until one team loses. So this this could keep going. This is this is intense. This is going to be interesting. This is actually the longest match we played. Is it so far? Yeah. Oh, actually, I noticed it's been like hour. over. Yeah, almost an hour. And you know, I love to see competition here. Yeah. Three three. Yeah. Also, with this note that they are is, left. Is with, this the final match right here? Or uh, if SU wins this, it will be all over. This will be the end of tonight's match. Wow. I see you probably hoping to end it here. Greetings. You have been probed. <laughs> Agape having some, <coughs> some fun on the stream. That, does it? Does this go into our comp? Uh, our our uh, um, compilation uh, of? Oh, I hope they're not watching. Probably, yeah. probably. We, I feel we can like put that's... in there and just pretend. Was that Mercy, Moira? No, it's Moira. It's you got the Diva, the, the Reaper, Sombra, and the Reaper here inside of Blin. If I had to guess, that's what we're looking at here. Based on obviously this there. mercy, not gonna be handing in any mercy to our opponents tonight. No, that's that's for sure. What's that, is that even a mercy? No, um, no that's a I bummer. Cause that's, that's a pretty good line. That that is a good line. I'll save that for next stream. Yeah, uh, I could make another Moira joke, but you've heard enough of those. And 
Yeah, no, I got no, no I, more Rokos. No, more, no, you stole it. <laughs> you stole it from me, folks. I did. It's weird. Usually, I can we save, we sa usually we save our puns for the less competitive matches, but I think the competition I, has kind of just opened our eyes. It's opened our all eyes the puns to available. all the things. Like, all the things. Yeah. Like Couldn't have said it better everything. than myself. It's kind of hands of them over to us. Okay, that was a stretch. Hey, That's, you you've had some stretches nah, too. Okay. Not as much. Mm. That's kind of just reaching, you know. Mm. And, as a caster, I do hold you to a higher standard. <laughs> hold me to a higher standard. But Lucio says, I'm going to boop you off the point here. It's now the engagement coming through for Blaine. They're trying to make the place happen. The hacks onto Agape here. Honestly, Hanzo being hacked, not the worst thing in the world. You still got your bow. Your bow's not made of electronics. They're going to secure the first hit on the point here. SU needs to get on. They need to contest. They need to contest. Mako oh, charging onto the point finally here. Charge. Not going to get the second tick here. Overtime. Wow. Blend. Here comes the Lucio. Not going to get the touch. That's going to be one wow. tick for Blinn. SU just need to get two ticks, and it will be all over. How that was a really long so minute and a half. How about that? Usually, you see, you, usually you'd see Blinn take those points, but not today. Not today. 69.9% on the cap. It looks like, looks like we're looking yeah. at, we, we're, we're going back. I love this little little aura we have here. Little aura. The little not the aura. What is the word? The not the ambiance. Atmosphere. No, not the atmosphere. It's uh, this is what I'm looking for. It's really aesthetically oh, the pleasing. Aesthetic, the factory Ath aesthetic. Ath the, ath it's very pleasing. It's very pleasing. You like that industrial aesthetic? You are darn right. I do. I'm Ryan. I'm Ryan. I'm darn Ryan about it. You're done. No, no, stop it. <laughs> You Man. started this war. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I just love Ryan's shield, though, because whenever whenever, he, whenever he puts up his shield, all who oppose him needs to yield. But hey, that Ryan. Hey, there you go. You're opposing, you didn't know it. No, no, did you? No, no. The, hey, that Ryan's. Oh, that Ryan's. Oh, my gosh. This man's a legend. Let's go. Man, honestly, viewers not even coming to watch the Overwatch match at this point. Just coming no, to hear our just, puns. They're just here for the puns. Here for the puns. Should we just like transition it over? Just, trans <laughs> just not it's even not watch the, the match. We we just, do what Orin did. We, exactly. we which did you hear about that by the way? I didn't. Yeah. So uh, on Thursday, uh, I showed up to the match late because of class, and uh, Orin had tried to stream it, and Wait, it was Orin trying to take our job. He it was on his face, and the audio wasn't working. So they couldn't hear him, and they couldn't see the game. My goodness. You know, we get paid good money ooh. for this. Oh, ooh. We get paid good pr money for this, so, like, I don't appreciate Orange <laughs> coming in trying to steal our livelihood. We're not getting paid for this. Absolutely not. We're, we're trapped in the basement. <laughs> yeah, we're being held All hostage right. here by FCB <laughs> Sports. <laughs> Ethan's gonna be like, guys, why, why did you say Ethan, that? Ethan's out. Yeah, are we allowed to say that, Ethan? <laughs> We're out here being held. Ethan, oh, oh. can you feed us? <laughs> no, Ethan out here. Ethan literally came down, threw us a loaf of bread, and said, commentate and make puns. <laughs> Have fun. And then he just left. I like the, the best part is, like, e Ethan does not do that at all. Oh, um, were we but, not allowed oh. to say that? Oh, yeah, he no, hasn't. He doesn't do be that. Truthful. We're supposed <laughs> to be truthful. We're supposed to be truthful. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh, coalescence. Ready to go here. Ha ha ha. Okay, so let's get back to the match at hand. Yeah. What Look, are we really looking for? What's SCU doing right here? What does Blaine need to improve? Uh, I believe Mako's doing what we like to call the little shuffle. The little, little shuffle and trick. It's the calm before the storm, but it's not really calm. It's yeah. the shuffle before the storm. Looking to get their ults up and running, though. These ultimates are going to be what makes or breaks this. Graviton Surge, the Shatter Coalescence, of course, is already ready to go. It's is probably going to be ready. Early oh, there it is. Yep, there's the Graviton. And it's there High Noon. Go. High Noon going to be denied, but there is Shatter. They're just going all in because they just need to get the ticks. That's all they and need here. Graviton be. Surge, a response from Blinn, but is it too little, go. too late? Here we go. Points going to start being capped. Just need to get to 60%. Just need to keep Blinn back long enough. And it looks like they're going to do so. And SCU, once again, going to have another victory. Victory. victory putting them 7-0 and in the current wow. season. That was a great combination of ults. Like, you had the Graviton. Boom, then there was... Boom, boom. You, you tried to pull off the Deadeye. It was denied. Oh, and By this the is going to be... And then you had... Was, was there a dragon we saw in there? Uh, I did not see the dragon. Well, I here it is. This is it right here. here. It is the, the coalescence. Oh, Graviton and then it was the Earth Shatter. No dragon there. The coalescence. No dragon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good match. Fantastic. Wow. Well, a last ditch push. 
from the side of SEU. Let's, let's highlight before we go before we transition. Highlight some of the playmakers. We got Nadian with 27 objective kills. B Stinger with 25 or B Dustinger, I should say. With high um, energy kills and and so, it's gone. Well, it's, wow, it's gone. Next match is there's not going to be a next <laughs> so, match. There's, there's not going to be a next match this time. But you know that was some fantastic play. And you know before we go, we gotta do one last thing. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Ah, uh, thank you and good night. <laughs> we'll see you next time.